All right, and here we are with another episode of Screw Up. And uh, as you can see, I have uh, kind of done a little bit of off-camera stuff here, uh, setting up our new base. So um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you guys for your continued support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. And uh, I try to bring out updates and some Let's Plays for Screw Up and Tinker Town and some other series on there as often as I can. Uh, with that, today's episode, guys... Um, as I said, left off in the last one, I wanted to build a base somewhere close to the mountains so that we could get into finding some of the metals. So I went off camera, I found a little spot, I really liked it here. Uh, it's flat, it's relatively safe yet right on the edge of the borders here for the mountains where we can get our, uh, get our metals. And so my goal for today is I want to take you guys up into the mountains a little bit, up into there, show you guys where the iron and, and I think there's gold nodes up there. We're going to go have a look here real quick and see, uh, but just show you guys what the nodes look like and where they are. And then I'm going to come back. As you can see, I got a furnace set up. I got a couple things set up in the base. I'm going to add things as we go both on and off camera and just get things uh, situated. But for now, I got it started. And I want to get into getting the iron tools, and I know there's an iron spear uh, and some iron armor and stuff like that. So we're going to look at trying to progress that together, you guys, and just get her going. And then we can kind of branch out and do a little bit more exploring. Um, we're going to head up there right now. So uh, with that, I want to also look into doing some of the long-range weapons as well, too. Now that we got the possibility of iron, I know that there's guns. Uh, there's bows, there's all kinds of different stuff. So we'll take a look at those two because I know those will help out as well. Uh, and I see an iron node right over there actually too, which is nice. So we're going to go check this out. Um, as it stands, I'm still at this point fighting fairies mostly. Uh, I mean, like it or not, it's just kind of the way that the developers started it up. Uh, I know it's the monsters... They do take a bit of a drastic turn later on, and they get really hard, so it's very important for us to kind of still be a bit cautious while we're here and while we get ourselves set up. Are you going to come down here? Or are you just are you kind of glitched out up there? Yeah, all right, cool. If you come down here, I'm going to whack you with my pickaxe, but you're fine there now. Um, so this is your standard iron node right here. So I'm using the stone pickaxe. Uh, we're going to build the iron one, hopefully today. Uh, and, and get going on that stuff. Because, yeah, this is painfully long doing this. But as you can see, you get flint, you get stone, and bam, you get uh, you get iron, pieces of iron. So uh, I know it's a little costly, too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet, but yeah, it's like three iron pieces in order to make one iron bar so uh, me personally i feel like it's a little bit on the high side in terms of requirements uh for <laughs> what you gain in the end and i say that because yeah i built my base to be right next to the mountains uh, near the iron but for how much you get out of one node for the time that you put into it it, it seems like a little high I, I feel like two would be uh pretty fair but um that's just the way that they decided to go with it. So, uh, This right here. So this is your gold nodes. So up in the mountains. You want to be on the lookout for these guys right here. And the gold pieces. I know that there is, I think, armor for sure. And perhaps some weapons. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not too sure what gold gets you uh, at this point. So um, lots of stuff coming though. So I know, uh, I mean, you want to definitely pick up as much as you can and store some stuff the developers have another update that's in the works uh as reading the the um, comments and stuff on the discord page and they said that you don't you won't have to start a whole new map to go with the next patch which is great and anytime you don't have to start a whole new game is kind of nice in my eyes uh let's go grab this one so, and yeah, with that, uh, this is my, my second video out, I think, since Halloween. So hopefully you guys all had a good and safe Halloween. Filled up on lots of Halloween candy, which is great. We had a little bit left over. Uh, we had a lot of kids. We actually saw over 200 kids at our place this year, which is the most we've ever had. So not a lot of candy left for 
for old Idra to go through at the end, but that's okay. It's not like I totally need it anyways. Uh, let's see here. So this is where we got to be a bit careful. So up in the top of the mountains is not too bad. I haven't really come across anything too much, but those guys right there, they look like they probably give you a bit of grief. That's why I want the iron tools and the iron... There's an iron spear. I feel like it would definitely help our cause. So, But we'll sneak in here. What's our... Yeah, we're at 237 and 409 for weight, so we're doing pretty good. So we're going to load up on as much as we can. I'm going to make this trip kind of as worthwhile as possible here. Up here? Yeah, let's get over there. Let's go. Oh, gold over there too. All right, cool. I like it. More iron down there. So, yeah, I think we made a good choice. Building our base right over here on the edge. Look at this view. Look at this view. That's cool. I want to make it back up into there at some point. We've got the desert over there, which is going to be very cool. I want to get over there. There's some really hard creatures, but some cool things down there that we can grab. Uh, I'd like to go down that way, too, and take a look at some more stuff down there. I think that's where some of the coral stuff lies, and I want to get down into that area as well. So, but for right now, we're going to finish grabbing some more metal here. There we go, we are now back at our baits, and we should have a look at our spoils, shall we? Let's see what we came back with. So we got, uh, looks like 38 iron ore, so not too bad. Uh, eight pieces of gold, a whole ton of flint, and a couple of decent sized stacks of some stone. So not too bad of a haul. What I don't know, what I want to find out later on is, is uh, and I'll keep you guys posted, but I don't know if you get more ore based upon having a, a higher graded pickaxe. Um, uh, consider we're only using the stone pickaxe at this point, but we'll have a look. And I'll keep you guys posted as to how that goes. Uh, we got some food on the fire. We'll put away the rest of this stuff for now. And then we're going to get into building our new tools, which I'm really excited for. Alright, so that's going. So, alright. So let's take a look at some of this stuff first. I was looking at it earlier, but iron pickaxe is the first thing that I want. So we need five wooden rod, which we've got right here. And the wooden rods are just basically crafted from multiple pieces of regular wood. Uh, we got a stone pickaxe, which we have. And we've got one iron ingot, which we've got. And we've got uh, some pieces of cloth in there. So, I'll craft you. There we go. Boom, baby! And I love that. So if you notice this little yellow bar down at the bottom, it uh, that's your durability bar. So these ones have taken a bit of durability. You can see I've been using this axe right here. The pickaxe that we just had was actually like fairly far down. So doing this actually gave us a fully new upgraded and full durability mining uh, pickaxe, which is pretty stellar. So uh, I want to do the hatchet. We still need some more wooden rods. And we're going to need the wooden rods as well for uh, building up our... Oh, we're out of wood. We need wood too for that. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to go do, grab some wood. Now, we're going to take a look here. So, in the first episode of this new 0.4 update, I was talking about different types of wood. Um, the basic ones that you can get at the start right now, you got your soft wood, which comes from the palm trees. Then you've got... A regular wood which comes from just your normal trees that look like this one over here. So these types of trees, I guess whatever you want to call them, but they're your they're your standard ones that just give you regular wood. And then these big tall pine looking trees, these are the guys that give you the hardwood. Now I want to see if there's a difference. I don't know if hardwood lasts longer in your furnace or not. Um, I know that when you go to make planks, if you have hardwood, you can actually make more planks out of using hardwood than you can using the regular wood, um, which is kind of nice if you're in a spot like where we are right now, where we have access to lots of hardwood. All right, so we grabbed a little bit of regular wood, a little bit of hardwood. I want to kill these guys too. They're a little bit tougher creature. You definitely don't want to go at them with anything less than a flint mace, that's for sure as they will hit you and they do hurt. But we get leather and lizard scales from them, both of which are very cool cracking items that you need um, in order to get into your leather gear and even beyond that. So it's good to farm those guys whenever you see them. I think the lizard scales are used for a particular type of armor, which is 
definitely an upgrade from your regular armor. So we're going to finish grabbing some more wood. How dare you sneak up on me like that? Alright. That fairy hanging out in the water there. Just having a blast. Okay. I want to head on over and test this baby out on one of these mushrooms that's over here. We haven't we haven't killed one yet. I want to see what they drop. I want to see if they drop something useful for us. Oh yeah, this thing's just a one-shot on those. Alright. Alright, let's see. Can we take you on? Can we kill you? Hello, Mr. Mushroom. Oh, you hurt. But we can kill you. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. What do you drop for us? Stone. Useless. You useless. Alright. Well... Let's grab some metal over here. Oh yeah, we do double the amount of damage on this uh, on this iron. Like, come on, do I gotta say trick or treat? Hmm? Give me something good. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Okay, that guy is uh, that's that's not one of the mushrooms, and he's gonna kill us. Whoo! <laughs> okay, uh, we're not quite ready for that guy yet. Wow. Okay, so the advisor. My goodness, okay, alright. So, I don't know if he's like a, a mini boss, maybe? Uh, but we're gonna need something a little more powerful to take him on. It's good to know, okay. Alright, so I've come up with a new goal for today, and that is to. Uh, basically, uh, we found ourselves some metal, and so now our next goal is to take that metal. Uh, and to build ourselves a firearm and kill that advisor. I want to know what that gets us. So, we killed his mushroom friends with the spear. Now we're going to build ourselves a firearm. So, next we're going to look at uh, converting these rotten vegetables and spoiled meat into fertilizer. Which is actually partially what you need in order to make gunpowder. So, don't throw this stuff away. Whatever you do. Spoiled meat, rotten vegetable. Pick these up when they drop. So, we're going to craft as much fertilizer as we can out of the spoiled meat. And then we're going to do as much as we can out of this one. Boom. All right. So in order to make your basic gunpowder, you're going to need one sulfur, one fertilizer, and one charcoal. So we're going to need to get ourselves some wood and burn it off in the furnace. And then we're going to go to the desert and get ourselves some sulfur. I'll bring you guys back here shortly. All right. So we are on the edge of the desert here. And we are looking for these bad boys right here. Which should be our sulfur nodes, I do believe. I've got charcoal going and I got fertilizer going, the other two components for our gunpowder back at base. Uh, it looks like. Is this sulfur? Yeah, this is sulfur. Alright, perfect. So we have found what we need. Uh, we're gonna be very careful because the desert is just full of assholes at this point. So uh, we gotta be careful because the enemies are definitely scaled up over here. Uh, so we're gonna kind of skirt around it a little bit just try and get what we need without causing too too much attention uh, so we don't die let's have a look here come on fairy go okay some more sulfur there so yeah like these guys are supposed to be pretty tough from what I understand uh, I mean we could try a goblin we could see what's up just to see. Come on, Gob. Uh, yeah. They, uh, they're not too bad. Okay. Alright, we can kill one. That's okay. Take that. What do you drop us? Hard leather. Okay. Cool. Well, I mean, they they hurt us a little bit, but it's not too bad. And then cactus. Uh, what does that give us? That gives us cactus meat. We extracted to get water from it. Okay, so another source of water. So that's alright too. I'm alright with that. Uh, I, I like the dew, but if this works as well too, that's great. Alright, so here we are. Back at base. We managed to grab ourselves 44 sulfur. Uh, we're going to start to make our gunpowder. We can make 15 for now. I can go and get some more charcoal. 
Uh, the charcoal's a little bugged though. Uh, I find that you're not getting the right return for how much wood you're putting in the furnace, but we'll roll with it. So for now, we've got our charcoal, our sulfur, and our fertilizer, which you need all three to make gunpowder. So we're gonna make ourselves 15 gunpowder for now. And then we'll look at making ourselves a rifle to get by for now. And here's what's up. So we're gonna make ourselves a stone blunderbuss. Uh, I've got ourselves a 20 stone block and the five hardwood rod that we need in order to make it. And so here we go. I mean, I have no idea how a stone firearm would ever work, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a try. We don't have what we need in order to get the iron one yet, so. So that's that, and we're gonna give this a shot. I don't know how this works yet. So we'll learn it together. Um, I feel like we're gonna put this into here. Does that, do we just, does it just automatically work? I have no idea. Um, but now we are one step closer to our goal, which is to go check, check out this advisor. I have no idea if it's gonna be anything cool or not, but I just, with a name like the advisor, uh, I feel like there's something to it and I really want to give it a chance, so. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure to find a surprise. Oh my goodness. Oh, this thing is awful. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, well that did like, next to no damage. Uh, well, I guess we'll see how it goes on the advisor. Oh, how awful was that? Okay, um, well, we gotta get our health up anyways. Okay, so one of one. So do we have to, like, reload this thing every time? I have no idea. So what happens if I go, like... Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I see that you have no ammo. So how do we... R? Ah, yes, okay. Typical R. Reload. Okay, I have no idea how quick this is going to go, so we're going to see. Uh, hello, Mr. Advisor. We've got like 10 rounds. Nine now. Alright. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Advisor. Reload, reload, reload. Oh my goodness, this is doing nothing. <laughs> oh, I mean, we're getting a little bit on him. Wow, this is this is sad. So, but until we can get strange powder, this is this is kind of it. Oh, oh look out! <laughs> Got stuck in a tree. Oh, he's going back. Okay. Oh no, come on back. You gotta get them like point blank, hey? There we go, that's a little bit better. More numbers the better. Oh, reload, reload, oh, we're out, we're out, okay. Well, here we go. Ow. Come on, come on, go down, go down, go down. We got this, we got this. Yeah! In your face, advisor! Open loot, what did you give us? Ten sulfur! Oh my gosh. I could have just went onto the desert and got that, you jackass. Oh well. Alright. Well, that was uh, unfulfilling, but uh, it was cool to try out the blunderbuss and at least just give it a shot. So that's, that's that weapon. So not bad, point blank, if you can manage to get them straight on, which is pretty cool. Uh, but with that, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So, pretty cool. We got ourselves iron. We got ourselves some gold. So, we're well on our way. Uh, we got to peek at the desert a little bit. And starting to get ourselves some gear and getting ourselves uh, ready to go to bigger, better things. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop me a like down below. I greatly appreciate it and it definitely helps me out. Uh, and with that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And we will catch you guys in the next episode.